também não aparece. Eu entro assim, ó. Não aparece pra mim. Vou deixar tudo. Good evening and selamat malam for those who are watching this from Malaysia. Good morning and bon dia para todos success for those who are watching this from Brazil. The Honorable Professor Technologist Dr. Ruzaini Abdullah Arshah, Senior Dean College of Computing and Applied Sciences, University Malaysia Pahang, Malaysia. Dr. Saiful Kamaluddin Muzakir, Dean of Faculty of Industrial Sciences and Technology, University Malaysia Pahang, Malaysia. Professor Dr. Flavia Beatrice Custujo, Deputy Dean, Faculty of Pharmacy, Department of Food Science, Federal University of Minas Gerais, Brazil. Professor Dr. Veronica Ortiz Alvarenga, Dean of Graduate Program, Federal University of Minas Gerais, Brazil. Professor Dr. Josiani Bacituchi Passos Julveda, Professor, Department of Food Science, Federal University of Minas Gerais, Brazil. 
Dr. Nur Adila Muhammad Omar, Director Kuara 2021, Faculty of Industrial Sciences and Technology, University Malaysia Pahang, Malaysia. Dr. Gabriel Barbosa de Oliveira, Coordinator of Kuara 2021 for Department of Food Science, Federal University of Minas Gerais, Brazil. Faculty members, fellow students of UMP and UFMG, and colloquium participants. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Azi, will be your MC for today. On behalf of the organizer, we would like to welcome all the participants to the Colloquium of Academic and Research, COAR 2021, Benvindos Al Noso Colloquium. For your information, COAR 2021 is organized by Faculty of Industrial Sciences and Technology, University Malaysia Pahang, Malaysia. In collaboration with Department of Food Science, Federal University of Minas Gerais, Brazil. Without further ado, I would like to invite Dr. Nur Adila Muhammad Omar, Director, Coar 2021, to give a welcoming speech. Please welcome her. The Honorable Professor, Technologist Dr. Rosaini Abdullah Arsha, Senior Dean. College of Computing and Applied Sciences, University of Malaysia Pahang, UMP. Dr. Saiful Kamalide Muzakir Elias Lokman, Dean, Faculty of Industry Sciences and Technology, University of Malaysia Pahang, UMP. Professor Dr. Flavia Beatrice Custodio, Deputy Dean, Department of Food Science, Federal University of Minas Gerais, UFMG, Brazil. Professor Dr. Veronica Ortiz Alvarenga, Dean of Graduate Program, Federal University of Minas Gerais, UFMG, Brazil. Professor Dr. Rosiane Patitici Passos de Oliveira, Professor, Department of Food Science, Federal University of Minas Gerais, UFMG, Brazil. Dr. Gabriel Barbosa de Oliveira, Coordinator of COA 2021 from Department of Food Science, Federal University of Minas Gerais, UFMG, Brazil. Faculty members, delegates from UFMG and fellow students. Hey, good evening to all participants from Malaysia and good morning to delegates from UFMG. It is a great honour and pleasure to welcome all the participants to the Colloquium of Academic and Research COA 2021. We are very fortunate to meet virtually today in this event, although amid a crisis of COVID-19 pandemic. I'm uh, delighted to be here today in a Colloquium of Academic and Research COA 2021 with a team by technology and food science. The decision to call this colloqu colloquium was made in the mid of 2021 after I invited Dr. Gabriel Barbosa de Oliveira, my colleague when I was in Sweden, as a speaker in the global classroom in one of my teaching courses in March 2021, which has received positive feedback from the students. Then we took the initiative and planned this event. Ladies and gentlemen, I will use the next few minutes to tell you something about the background of uh, for this colloquium and our motivation. There are mainly two reasons. Firstly, we want that a COA 2021 become a powerful platform to initiate collaboration between UMP and FMG and make it more visible to all staff and students at both institutions. We believe that COA 2021 will provide an excellent opportunity to engage with participants from all point, uh, viewpoints, acquire new ideas and trends, form new relationships and strengthen the current ones. Secondly, we'd like to discuss and plan for the near future activities in a broader perspective and we'd like to put this on the agenda of FIST. Therefore, we have invited speakers from both universities, UMP and UFMG, to share their experiences in both academic and research. I hope that all of you will take this opportunity to get information and valuable input from both institutions. Before becoming to a close of this remark, I sincerely hope you will enjoy this two hour event. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Adela. I would like to invite Dr. Gabriel Barbosa de Oliveira, coordinator of COAR 2021 from UFMG to give a welcoming speech. Please welcome him. Hello, good morning, everybody. 
in Brazil. And good evening for all participants from Malaysia. Uh, Salam Malan. Uh, professors, researchers, students, distinguished guests, um, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I, I just I was just thinking here, even though we are a split uh, Brazil and, and Malaysia by something around 16,000 kilometers, right? And Malaysia is in 11 hours in the future from Brazil's perspective. We are all connected uh, in real time. And that's amazing, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm Gabriel Barbosa de Oliveira, and I'm, I'm coordinating CORE 2021 from the Brazilian side. It's my great pleasure to welcome all of you to our colloquium of academic and research. And I would like to extend an especially warm welcome to Professor Dr. Ruzaini Abdulan Arshan and Dr. Saifu Kamaludian Muzakir, and also to my dear friend, Dr. Noor Adila Mohammed Omar, and all speakers and members from FIST UMP. Thank you very much for helping us to organize this important, very important event. Also, I'd like to say thank you and appreciation to the Brazilian team, uh, Professor Dr. Rosiane Batitucci uh, Passos de Oliveira, Professor Dr. Veronica Ortiz Alvarenga, and Professor Dr. Flavia Beatriz Custódio for participating, joining us uh, in this event. I really appreciate that. Um, also, I'd like to say thank you to Professor Dr. Maria Aparecida Vieira Teixeira Garcia for supporting our team. Well, just a, a short story. Uh, once upon a time in Sweden, there were two fellow PhD students uh, dreaming about the future, uh, dreaming that one day uh, they would be able to connect the original universities from uh, where they are from and to make collaboration. And uh, right now, that dream is about to become true. Uh, Dr. Ardila and I, we are very glad to engage with all of you in this colloquium and make some kind of bridge uh, between UMP and UFMG. I hope it's going to be the first step for a strong and a very solid and successful uh, partnership. I wish you all a great event. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. Sama-sama, Dr. Gabriel. Thank you, Dr. Gabriel. Ladies and gentlemen, now we will watch a montage from University Malaysia Faham.
next, I would like to invite Dr. Saiful Kamaluddin Muzakir, Dean of Faculty of Industrial Sciences and Technology, to give his speech. Please welcome him. Thank you, Dotazi. The Honorable Professor Technologist Dr. Rosaini Abdullah Arshah, Senior Dean College of Computing and Applied Sciences UMP, Professor Dr. Flavia Beatrice Custodio, Deputy Dean, Department of Food Science, Federal University of Minas Gerais, UFMG, Brazil, Professor Dr. Veronica Ortiz Alvarenga, Dean of Graduate Program, UFMG, Brazil, Professor Dr. Hoziani Batitucci Passos de Oliveira, Professor Department of Food Science, UFMG, Brazil, Dr. Nur Adila Muhammad Omar, Director of COA 2021, Faculty of Industrial Sciences and Technology, or known as FIST, College of Computing and Applied Sciences, University Malaysia, Pahang. Dr. Gabriel Barbosa de Oliveira, Coordinator of COA 2021, Department of Food Science, UFMG, Brazil. Faculty members, delegates from UFMG and fellow students. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sejong todos, benvindos. Salam sejahtera. Very good evening and a very good morning to delegates from UFMG. I am honored to welcome all of you, especially our distinguished guests and delegates from UFMG to the Colloquium of Academic and Research Core 2021. Although today we are in the midst of a crisis triggered by the spread of COVID-19, this never became an obstacle for us to jointly organize COA 2021, virtually with the Department of Food Science, UFMG. COA 2021 with the theme of biotechnology and food science is a powerful platform, as mentioned by Dr. Noradila, in bridging this UMP with the Department of Food Science, UFMG, in both academics and research activities. And QA 2021 also is a platform for a productive exchange of ideas, theories, and policies to identify the paradigm shifts and better apprise information for both entities, UMP and UFMG. We also believe that QA 2021 may offer excellent opportunities to connect with attendees from different perspectives and views, learn new ideas and trends, develop new relationships, and strengthen the existing ones. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to use this opportunity to introduce our faculty briefly, the Faculty of Industrial Sciences and Technology, or FIS, College of Computing and Applied Science UMP to all delegates. FIS was established on the 1st May 2008 with the vision to be the center of reference of science and technology for industry. And our mission, it is we offer academic programs and activities, consultancy and R&D in science and technology, emphasizing industrial elements as required by stakeholders. Well, currently we have four accredited bachelor's program, it has Bachelor of Applied Science in Industrial Biotechnology with Honors, that is the first one. The second one is Bachelor of Applied Science in Industrial Chemistry with Honors. The third one, Bachelor of Applied Science in Material Technology with Honors. And the fourth one is the Bachelor of Occupational Safety and Health with Honors. Besides Bachelor program, we also have Diploma program, Diploma in Occupational Safety and Health. And we also have one accredited Master of Science Occupations, Occupational Safety and Health uh, by coursework. Cumulatively, FIS has 1,162 active undergraduate students and 156 active postgraduate students. Well, in academics, FIS strives to ensure the programs are tailored towards producing holistic, entrepreneurial, and balanced graduates in line with the Malaysian Education Blueprint 2015-2025. And FIS also active in implementing e-learning platform which conducted by both Dr. Gabriel and Dr. Adila in March, if I'm not mistaken, including global classrooms to expose and experience 
the students in a new interactive way of communicating through online platform with international entities. And one of them has led to today's program. Moreover, he is also active in arranging student exchange programs and student mobility, including an inbound and outbound from and to several countries respectively. FIS has sent several students to spend six months internship in industries abroad for the internship program. In research and innovation, FIS has four excellent research clusters, including drugs discovery and diagnostics, green technology, advanced materials, and occupational safety, health, and environment. Many researchers from FIS have outstanding achievements in various research fields at local and international levels. Moreover, FIS is also active in engagement with multiple industries in the research. We believe that networking, I repeat, we believe that networking gives researchers a new perspective on the most vital things to their stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Today's event, I am delighted with participation from both UMP and UFMG. FIS always recognizes the importance of international collaboration in many aspects, and we hope that this event will open opportunities for collaboration and other initiatives. And therefore, I believe that we could explore more and provide many opportunities for students and staff with research opportunities and cultural awareness the institution could offer international experiences, including study abroad programs and staff exchanges. Again, I hope that we will use this opportunity to continue an engagement between UMP and UFMG in exploring new possibility of some future events. And honoring the efforts made to organize this colloquium, I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to the Director of Quar 2021 from UMP, Dr. Nur Adila Muhammad Omar, and the Coordinator of Quar 2021 from UFMG, Dr. Gabriel Barbosa Jolivera, and the rest of Quar 2021 Committee for their undivided commitment and dedication. To all participants, I wish you all a very fruitful deliberation throughout Quar 2021. Thank you. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Dr. Saiful. Next, I would like to invite Professor Dr. Hoziani Bacituchi versus Julveda, Professor in Department of Food Science, UFMG, to give her speech. Please welcome her. Well, I will. see something here. Well, good morning. Bom dia. Salamak patang. Uh, good evening for you. I'm Josiani from the Food Department of Faculty of Pharmacy of UFMG. Uh, this is the faculty that I was graduated so as a pharmacist, I suppose and I believe that food could be, food science, né? could be the, the path for uh, prevents disease. In, in this way, I will have this, um, I'll give you this presentation with a brief video from UFMG and then some some uh, aspects of the Faculty of Pharmacy and our food department. So uh, let's see the video. Hi there. Let me tell you a bit about UFMG, the Federal University of Minas Gerais, one of the most important universities in Brazil. UFMG is located in the state of Minas Gerais, which is Brazil's second most populous state located in the country's southeastern region. There is a lot to discover and explore in Minas Gerais. History, nature, adventures, culture, and diversity. Belo Horizonte is the capital city of Minas Gerais. It has been considered one of Brazil's best cities to live in. 
Belo Horizonte is a technological hub and has been designated a city of gastronomy by the UNESCO Creative Cities Network. It is also host to Brazil's largest and most sophisticated culture complex. UFMG is considered to have the best teaching in Brazil and it is one of the best universities in Latin America. Many foreign students come to UFMG from all corners of the world. If you study here, you will have more opportunity to do uh, with the high technology research. And the teachers and the professors were really um, always helping us, always giving us the time that we need, always there for us. Me ha encantado el trato de las personas, la comida, la Let me tell you a bit about the UFMG, the Federal University of Minas Gerais, one of the most important universities in Brazil. UFMG is located in the state of Minas Gerais, which is Brazil. Sorry. Uh, we, we cannot see the video. Maybe there's something that we need to adjust. Uh, you, you don't see the video? No. Uh, there's no video. We, we can we can hear some sound, but we cannot see the video. Okay, so I will do I will do it an, another way. Okay. 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 Thank you. Just a minute, please. Um, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It happens. Maybe um, so. Just a minute, please. Uh, Professor Ziani, uh, uh, we do have the copy of that video. Do you want us to to present it from from our side? Is it is it okay? Professor Hoziani, can can you hear me? She froze. I think the the connection is uh, oh, the connections. Okay, okay. Probably. Yeah. yeah maybe. I'm trying to connect to her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if you want us to uh, to present yeah. to present the video, yeah. then that's okay. We can do that. Sounds good. I have sent to Doctor Dealer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Video as because well. So we you got it right. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So if you, uh, do you want to wait for the professor first or? We just yeah, can... I'm trying to connect to her. Okay. Just one, we... one minute. Okay, all right. Okay, she's back. Okay. So. Uh, Professor Hosiani? Can you, can you hear me? <laughs> uh, do you want us to play the video? Oh, please. Okay, Great. then uh, then uh, I will start with play from here. Is it okay? Oh, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Then uh, uh, can you? I think you need to stop the uh, to present. Then we can we can uh, play that for you. Okay, I think that's yeah. The video is on, but I think there's no video. Uh, no no sound. Yeah, you should uh, put it on your computer. Use the sound uh, of your computer. Yes, I hear there's no sound. Hi there, let me tell you a bit about UFMG, the Federal University of Minas Gerais, one of the most important universities in Brazil. UFMG is located in the state of Minas Gerais, which is Brazil's second most populous state located in the country's southeastern region. 
There is a lot to discover and explore in Minas Gerais. History, nature, adventures, culture and diversity. Belo Horizonte is the capital city of Minas Gerais. It has been considered one of Brazil's best cities to live in. Belo Horizonte is a technological hub and has been designated a city of gastronomy by the UNESCO Creative Cities Network. It is also host to Brazil's largest and most sophisticated culture complex. UFMG is considered to have the best teaching in Brazil and it is one of the best universities in Latin America. Many foreign students come to UFMG from all corners of the world. If you study here, you will have more opportunity to do uh, with the high technology research. And the teachers and the professors were really um, always helping us, always giving us the time that we need, always there for us. Me ha encantado uh, el trato de las personas, la comida, la, uh, la amabilidad. Porque o povo mineiro é muito caloroso, né? Então eu fui muito bem recebida na UFMG. Do you speak Portuguese? If not, don't worry. UFMG offers Portuguese classes for foreigners as well as regular academic courses taught in English and in Spanish. And students can rely on UFMG's vast support and reception network. The university's international dimension is also impressive, having several regional study centers and partnerships with countless universities across the world. But we don't only excel at academics. High-level athletes also train at UFMG. In fact, its sports training center hosted foreign delegations during the 2016 Olympics. UFMG boasts several former presidents of Brazil among its alumni, as well as many other important people. Here you'll make friends for life. Come join UFMG. We hope to see you soon. So thank you. And now I'm trying to to get back the PowerPoint. So I think I will have some I'm 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 trying to 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 share but uh, I can't see the the presentation so I think I will speak here I have a PowerPoint print presentation but sorry I could not share with you I don't know why uh, Professor Giani we do have your slides do you want us to also present that for you and then you can you can talk and whenever that you want to have the next slide then you can just say next is it, is it okay is it good hey, oh you are in a mute uh prof uh professor Gianni? you need to unmute your microphone now you hear me ah uh, yes yes i can i can hear you uh, yeah. Uh, so is it okay that we we uh, we present the slide for you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will wait. appreciate it. I will appreciate. Yeah, yeah. It. All right. Okay. So you can um, go to the next slide, please. I will. Uh, uh, thank you. So this is the building of the faculty of pharmacy and in this building that's the main entrance in this building we have uh, labs classrooms uh, a cafeteria an auditorium uh, library and all the administrative uh, area for the uh, students affairs so uh, this is where we we live <laughs> and we were we are very proud to be the ranked by the top 200 uh, by KS World uh, University ranking so uh, it was a, a very uh, we are very proud the next please the faculty of pharmacy offers uh, two basic undergraduate courses a bachelor in pharmacy and biomedicine 
and the nutrition bachelor uh, we have some we offer some uh, subjects at the food department for the nutrition course so uh, it's a very diverse um, uh, courses that we have uh, in our faculty next please we are divided in four departments the clinical and toxicological analysis, the ACT, the pharmaceutical products, PFA, uh, social pharmacy, FAS, and our food department, ALM, that deals with food and science technology. And in our department, the, our department is linked to the uh, graduate uh, program of food science and technology. So we are uh, very uh, near from uh, academics and research in food science and technology. Next, please. So this is the subject that the food department deals with, offers. Uh, food quality control, food biochemistry, food microbiology, food hygiene, uh, food chemistry, functional foods, food analysis, food processing, food toxicology, and biotechno bi biotechnology in food and beverage, of food and beverage biotechnology, industrial microbiology, sensory analysis of foods, and the um, unit operations and packaging material, materials is for the pharmaceutical area, although some kind of uh, food science and technology uh, is uh, uh, branched by these uh, two uh, subjects. And enteral and parenteral nutrition therapy, it's almost for the pharmaceutical area. So you can see we we deal we deal with um, a very a very different subject. So it's a very multidisciplinary um, professor that we have in our department. Next, please. So we have also uh, topics a uh, uh, subject. Uh, called uh, topics in food science that we uh, offers this uh, by a semester. So we uh, this comprehends some trends, some innovation, state of art in food science and technology. So I see in this uh, way a first possible partnership and a fruitful partnership that we can have with you and UMP and our department or UFMG and also internship we have some uh, uh, vacancies uh, on uh, food uh, industry so uh, we can uh, rece uh, receive some uh, students from Malaysia for example to uh, to take internship, so I can see that this uh, is the first step, two first steps that we can make a fruitful uh, partnership. Next, please. And if you want to come to UFMG, so uh, we have an international affairs office and keep, which supports the foreign students. So at uh, this site above, you can uh, reach uh, this, uh, uh, some uh, information about this. So UFMG receives foreign students by mobility programs and agreements, cooperation agreements. And as you saw at the video, it's not necessary to have a proficiency in Portuguese language but it's uh, desirable if you understand the basic uh, Portuguese. And next, please. So, thank you. Terima kasi, obrigada. 
and we all here, I would thank uh, uh, for the agreement, the coordination for this cohort to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Data uh, Hosiani. Next, uh, with all respect, I would like to invite the Honorable Professor Technologist Dr. Ruzaini Abdullah Arshah, Senior Dean, College of Computing and Applied Sciences, UMP, to give a welcoming speech and officially launch the COAR 2021. Please. Uh, Prof, you are you talking right now? Because we can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Thank you very much. Um, Technologist Dr. Saifu Kamalji Muzakir, uh, Dean of Faculty of Industrial Science and Technology, College of Computing and Applied Sciences, University of Shapang. Professor Dr. Khoziani Batitucci Paso Joviera, Professor uh, at the Faculty of Pharmacy, right? Uh, Federal University of Minas Gerais, Brazil. Professor Dr. Flavia Beatriz Custodio, De Deputy Dean, Department of Food Science, Federal University of Minas Gerais, Brazil. Professor Dr. Veronica Ochis Albarenga, Dean of Graduate Program, Department of Food Science, Federal U University of Minas Gerais, Brazil. Dr. Nadila, Director of Core 2021, Faculty of Industrial Science and Technology. Dr. Gabriel Barbosa, Oliveira, coordinator of COR 2021 from uh, UFMG, all speakers of Collegium, faculty members, delegates from UFMG, and fellow students. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, salam sejahtera. Very good evening and a very good morning to delegates from UFMG. Bom dia para todos ustedes. First and foremost, I have great pleasure in extending my warmest welcome to all of you to this Collegium especially to our distinguished guests, delegates from UFMG to this occasion that marks a significant milestone in the context of University of Malaysia Pahang's International Collaborative Network. Collegium of Academic and Research, Core 2021, is a significant and strategic avenue to promote and enhance collaborative networking between UMP and the institutions represented by delegates. The strives of excellence in academic and especially in research and innovation within the implementation of UMP Strategic Plan 2021 to 2025 calls the commitment from all academicians in this university to strengthen a collaborative academic network with credible partners, both locally and globally. The core 2021 with the team Biotechnology and Food Science aims to bring together leading academics, scientists, researchers, and research scholars to exchange and share their experiences in academics, teaching and learning activities, and research results on all aspects related to biotechnology and food science. In Malaysia, biotechnology is among one of the sectors covered in the recent trade and investment mission under the Ministry of International Trade and Industry. In line with that aspiration, this colloquium is the manifestation of UMP strategic response towards the agenda by the government. Food science is one of the aspects of biotechnology that is ventured into by some of our researchers, especially in FIST, and we are excited to hear the update from UFMG in the same aspect. Therefore, moving forward, we foresee a good potential for this field in Malaysia. Today's occasion is indeed very timely, and I'm very glad that it takes place with the participation of more than 100 participants from both institutions. We always acknowledge the importance and significance of international linkage and partnership as one of the critical factors for the university visibility and sustainability. UMP looks forward to collaborate in academic initiatives and high value research and development especially biotechnology and food science innovations. This challenge is to, be born, is to be born collectively by us, and I believe we could explore other potential areas of cooperation, thus enabling the expansion of our present perimeter of collaboration. Maybe later we could plan 
for memorandum of understanding or memorandum of agreement. Again, I hope that you will take this opportunity to explore new prospects in the institutional partnership and collaboration. Lastly, I wish you all a very engaging and fruitful communications and deliberations in today's event. I thereby officiate the Collegium of Academic and Research Core 2021. Thank you. Obrigado. Wabilahi taufiq wal hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Technologies Dr. Ruzaini. Ladies and gentlemen, now we will watch a montage of Pahang, Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now will start our colloquium. Before we start, I would like to announce a few things. If you have questions for the speaker, you may type your questions on the chat box, either in Microsoft Teams, YouTube, or Facebook. You also may ask directly at the end of each speech, where the microphone in the Microsoft Teams will be unmuted. Also in the chat box, you all may find the link of the attendance form and also the virtual background that we will use for photography session later. Don't forget to fill in your attendance. Uh, we also hope that you may fill in the feedback form that will be given at the end of our colloquium. We will proceed our colloquium by inviting our first speaker for COAR 2021, Dr. Lee Chin Mei, with her presenta presentation entitled Industrial Biotechnology Program. Please welcome her. Thank you, Dr. Azi. Let me share my slide. A very good day to Professor Dr. Ruzaini, Dr. Saifo, Professor Dr. Flavia, Professor Dr. Veronica, Professor Dr. Hosiani, Dr. Noah Avila, Dr. Gabriel, faculty members, colloquium participants, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lee Chin Mei, the head of program for industrial biotechnology program, and I'm going to share with you the academic aspect of the industrial biotechnology program. 
The University of Malaysia Pahang has two campuses which are situated at the Gambang and the Pekan. And we are the Faculty of Industrial Sciences and Technology, in short, FIS, and we are at the Gambang campus. So FIS was established in 2008 and we started the Industrial Biotechnology program in 2009. And these are the top management of our faculty, Dr. Saifu Kamaruddin Muzakil as the Dean, Dr. Muhammad Fasli Asras as the Deputy Dean for Academic and Students Affairs, Dr. Azizan Ramli as the Deputy Dean for the Research and Postgraduate Studies. And these are the head of program for our undergraduate program for Masters and Diploma program. For your information, the Industrial Biotechnology Program is accredited under the Malaysian Qualifications Agencies. And we are proud with our graduate employability. In 2020, the Industrial Biotechnology Program achieved 96.9%, which means that most of our graduates were employed upon six months finishing their studies. And we are active in collaborating with the university in the world and we have the e-learning platform the global classroom where we invite researchers or lecturers from other universities to give lectures to our students our faculty members have organized 28 global classroom involving 31 courses with 28 university and a total of 951 students have benefited from it some of the Example of the partner university for Global Classroom are the University of Oxford, University of Cambridge, and of course, UFMG. So in the early of this year, Dr. Noadila have invited Dr. Gabriel to give a lecture to our students. And you can see our students, they were really happy and enjoying the Global Classroom. And we also have the student exchange program where the international student, they can come over and study in UMP for one or two semesters. Uh, we have students from Lanzhou University, Lingxia University, Hebei University from China, UNISA, Indonesia, Eurasian National University, Kazakhstan, and the Prince of Songkhla University, Thailand. We have organized lots of uh, activity for inbound students we brought them to the industrial visit to let them to be exposed to the workspace and also to learn the processes, how to produce the industrial biotechnology products. And they also have the chance to attend some cultural event. And we also organize social event for the international student to mix around with our local students. Apart from the student exchange program, we have summer school where the international student can come over for a shorter period, as short as uh, a week, and they can come here to attend courses or to join the classes or the lecture with our local students. And these two years, uh, it has been really hard because of the pandemic. We have lots of lockdowns and the border were, uh, were closed, but this doesn't stop us to continue to to collaborate with our partners university we have organized virtual summer program and we have participants from indonesia philippines and india they were from nine university and you can see from here the local students uh, she were she was uh, sharing uh, one of the very famous drink the te tare or the pool tea it's a really delicious drink uh, from Malaysia to the international participants. We have internship at the eighth semester, their last semester, students will spend six months of internship in the industry. And nowadays, we encourage students to go abroad for the internship. And I'm really glad that just now, Professor Hosiani did offer the uh, internship in UFMG. So I'm really looking forward to send our student over to UFMG. FIS has collaborated with more than 150 companies, including the uh, for the students' internship and also staff attachment. 
These are the international award won by our faculty members in the United States of America, Moscow, United Kingdom, South Korea, and also Germany. And last, we also organized community service where we went to the school to organize program for the students to encourage them to study science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So for these two years, we have changed our format to forum on the TV or organize any uh, activity using the online platform. So I hope you have now know a bit more about us and we are looking forward to collaborate with UFMG. Thank you. Abrigado. Thank you very much, Dr. Liu, for the sharing. Now I would like to open for any question from participant. You may type in the chat box or you also can um, ask directly to Dr. Lee now because the, the microphone already been unmuted. So if there's no question for me, I would like to promote our virtual Dr. summer Dr. school. Lee? Oh, yes, Gabriel. Yes, uh, yeah, thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, I'd like to, to, to do one question. Uh, in mm -hmm. case of uh, internship with undergraduate students um, coming from, from, from Pahang, from Malaysia, for how long uh, um, do they can stay? And from, I mean, uh, um, in terms of the rules from your side. And uh, otherwise, uh, if we send students to internship, uh, some exchange, um, uh, what about the rules for how long do they can stay and do this collaboration in presence? Okay, so thank you, Dr. Uba, for the uh, question. So for our students, uh, their internship is uh, uh, as uh, six months, so they will have to go abroad for six months. Yeah. Okay, so, great. Yeah, if the student come over, so it can be one to two semester, so it, it will be up to a year. Okay, roughly perfect. a year. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And in case we have um, many students uh, interested on that, is there some mm -hmm. kind of interview first, uh, just to to make sure to to give some information to them? Is there some interview previously, uh, CV, uh, profile analyze, something like that? How how do you manage to to select uh, students? Uh, so far, we don't have any interview, but we will have forms and some information uh, for the students to fill out. Perfect. Thank you very much, Dr. Lee. Thank you. Uh, is there any more questions from the participant? We have no question from Facebook and YouTube as well. Uh, Dr. Okay. Lee, do you want to promote yeah. something? So I would like to promote our virtual summer school. I would like to welcome uh, uh, students from EFMG to, if uh, in the future we will organize these uh, virtual summer schools. And if you're interested, please leave your email address in the feedback form so we will inform you when we organize this normally in the summer. And we also have the, sorry, I'm trying to share the screen. It's not moving. Okay. I agree. Uh, okay. So we also have this uh, physical summer school where the students can come over for 12 days and they can attend uh, some of the courses and also some excursions. So we will uh, bring the students uh, for some visit of the nice places uh, around Pahang. And also, I'd like to invite uh, students from UFMG to come over to for, uh, to FIS for students exchange. So it can be one or two semester. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Liu, for the sharing. And also thank you for the questions. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, our second presenter, Dr. Hong Pui Kun from MP, with her title Biotechnology and Food Science. Please welcome her.
Spiketus, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, um, here we go. Honorable professors, associate professors, doctors, fellow faculty members, delegates from UFMG, ladies and gentlemen, good evening for all of you from Malaysia and good morning for our friends and audience from Brazil. My name is Hong Pui Kun, you can call me Hong. I am representing our colleagues from the Industrial Biotechnology Program to give you a brief introduction about the biotechnology and food science related activities in our faculty, the Faculty of Industrial Sciences and Technology, also known as FIS for short. So first and foremost, let me walk you through the scope and topics covered in this short presentation. So I will start by introducing the four research clusters established in our faculty and the relevant field of research. And next, I will introduce you to the research activities that fit with today's team by highlighting some research projects and publications we produce. As for achievements and uh, recognitions, we will look at the research grants, awards, and commercialized products. And last, I will briefly talk about the faculty's industrial uh, partnership strategy and the facilities. We have four research clusters in FIS. Most of our colleagues are in the Industrial Biotechnology Program are uh, registered under the Drug Discovery and Diagnostic 3D cluster and the Green Technology cluster. Well, the selection of research cluster is crucial as it re relates to the field of research and then when we are recruiting postgraduate students. So now let's look at the field of research. Basically, our researchers are multidisciplinary. Most of us are registered under the food uh, processing and industrial biotechnology field. And currently, the majority of our postgraduates are research-based, while coursework-based degree is only offered for the occupational safety and health degree. So now let's look at the research projects. Well, since the, our team for today is focused on uh, biotechnology and food science, so here are the research uh, projects uh, that are recent okay, in uh, FIS. For COVID-19 genome, our colleagues are investigating the genome-wide association studies, GWAS, of COVID-19 and the virus mutation. For bacteria and virus-based research, it is centered on the genetic study of virus and pathogenic bacteria isolated from various sources, as well as understanding the antimicrobial properties in some probiotic strains against pathogenic microbes. Sorry. We have a, a group of researchers actively involved in electrospinning technology, working closely with the advanced material cluster. The main application is actually to develop wound healing dressing. The oral and gut microbiota is a hot topic in our faculty. Interests are focused on isolation of probiotics from food or, product, or production of probiotic food as well as supplements. We have research activities related to genome sequencing of animal gut microbiota and human oral microbiome. Well, Living in a tropical country like Malaysia, we have access to a wide array of herbs and other plant-based materials. Um, we are actively involved in herbal extract research. Normally, it involves um, understanding the active compound of bioactivity in the plant extract and then developing uh, them for applications such as incorporating herbal extract in milk, acting as a coagulant to produce functional dairy products. And uh, another example is marine uh, seaweed that can be applied as a binder for poultry feed. Uh, last but not least, um, we have a fruit here, 